I'm looking at you like, damn, he looks good. Like his butt is on point. Like this is good. And then you're like, hand me the tape. I'm like, you know what? At some point, I don't care how good you look. <laughs> Like, this is unattractive. I'm out. Like, I don't care how. But at that moment, I was just like, so that's a double whammer right there. Like, I was attracted to you on the couch, honey, about and the construction. And then I opened my mouth. <laughs> and then you open up, I walk away. All right, Carlos, what do you think? Looking pretty good? Looking pretty sexy today, right? I, I don't like, I don't like, oh, I, I, oh, you're looking sexy. Oh, you look sexy. I'm you just look telling tired. About, oh, you could, you could tell like that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to it another episode <laughs> of Do The Work Podcast. I am your host, A.Z. Araujo. And, and I am Carla Araujo. And I'm glad you brought that up. You look tired, too. You got, like, some bags under your eyes. Uh, That's mean. That is. No, you don't. Is that why you're wearing the glasses? I mean, I'm not. Are you trying to hide something there? No. Actually, I'm wearing these glasses <laughs> because it gives looking, me yellow tint. Yes. No. You look... You look and the yellow You know, there's tint this thing. Uh, every time I've been looking at you, like, for you to, like, take off these glasses that you're uh -huh. wearing... And like swing your hair in slow motion. Can you can you do that for me or? I can do that. All I don't right. know if you, have, if you have time for live video. I mean. Sure know. we can. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's, let's have How am I going to do that? No, then I'm going to have to hook myself all up again. Yeah, your hair's going to be all over yeah. the place, probably in your mouth. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest right now because you do look tired. Damn. I look tired. Where I were, see where the bags are. We are. The last couple of weeks. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm wearing these glasses. <laughs> not only because I have to, because they're highly recommended, because I'm looking at my freaking laptop and my phone all day, but literally because it's hiding a little bit of baggage underneath my eyes. Yeah. So I'm not going to lie. Let's be honest. All right. I'm freaking exhausted. You're exhausted, and, and we've been irritable with each other uh, more than we were just the well, last two. If, if we think about the last two podcasts, we put, we've been all lovey-dovey. Life is great. We've, we've been all, we've been all, we've been going out we've and been going the out. last two weeks we haven't well no, last week last, last week, week we didn't go, we out didn't go out because uh y you felt bad because my daughter gave you her puppy eyes about not taking them with us and uh um yeah you you pretty much shot down that idea and now like we're not getting along so great mm -mm. well and then we'll, we'll, we forgot to mention we just b bought a brand new puppy you know i gotta tell you for the lighting's a little off on that guys let's, let's get that up uh, for a for a little bit, it's dark. Go ahead. For a little bit there, um, mm -hmm. I was always wanting. I was always like, man, I should have had that third child. You know, for a little bit there, you know, yeah, I was just I like, remember. hey, you, every time I would look at you across the way from the hallway in my room, like my office, as I'm you like, would smell my manhood. Yeah, like let's go home and take care of business, kind yeah. of deal. Like let's do this. Like yeah. let's make my this manliness. final. Yeah. And have another baby. Uh huh. You know, and pheromones in the air. Yeah, 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 that? yeah. And that when that was brought up, we ended up buying um our first labradoodle boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that completely threw me off because I was like, I don't want no baby. Like, this is exhausting. It's exhausting. Yeah. And we forgot. Like, we've only had our yeah. last dog for about a year. Yeah, but then again, I got the itch again. And I was like, man, man I really do. I'm thinking about this baby thing again. You know? I mean, if you really want to have a baby, I'm all for it. Like, well, yeah, yeah. No, no, I get it. I get it. But I think you are like, every time I mention that, you're like, how do you think? What do you think about another Labrador? Well, I gotta and test. Like, well, I gotta test your resolve. I want to make sure you're 100 percent committed. You know, and I'm glad. So I'm saying I'm glad because you know me. You're not gonna say no to the baby. No, I'm so not. So you're gonna suggest, hey, let's buy another puppy. Now we're limited to what we can do this summer, which yeah. uh, some pl plans already have been uh, right. axed uh, for that same reason. Now we, we got a little puppy we have to take care of. That's the, keeping the, us. The baby thing is out of my mind now. Like yeah. forget it. So I'm not getting any sleep, and this is just a dog. It's just a dog. I can't that damn dog. Holy, it's cute as hell. Like I like it. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool dog. It's a smart dog. And then you have a nasty attitude every time you pee somewhere. Yeah, I do. You're at, yeah, you're at, you're, you're not, your attitude is a little crazy. It can get me off the edge because of no sleep. And the nasty attitude you have over a little... Well, you, you haven't little, been so pleasant yourself. Let's just put that out there. Piss and you get all angry. Just saying. Same here. I don't get angry over dogs pissing on the floor. You, you just get walk you, around angry with this brow. Once it gets about 6 o'clock in the evening... Like your whole demeanor, like you're, you're bearable right now. Like, hey, well, let's get along. Let's go. go so I turn into coffee. the Hulk after six o'clock. No, not a Hulk, like Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde type of thing. After six. Yeah, I have to go out and, and hide sometimes. Yeah. And you're all sun, you're all your sunshine. energy and your sunshine when you get home. Well, not all the time. Your sunshine, but it doesn't you know serve funny? us you know either one of us if we're both. It's uh, funny how in the you same and place. I we work the same hours. We're on about the same. We're, we're hustling and we're running out there. We're doing the exact same thing. I've yeah. never compared us and who does more. I think we well, both do the same. from some time to time. I've never compared us. This is where I compare. This is where I compare. Not on the outside, not for doing workout. You're getting, this you're is getting riled up right now. Because, because you, got, you get me a little upset when you say this. You get me a little upset. You we'll make it, it we just had this conversation this morning, okay. too. Always my attitude. But try getting home the time I get home, which yeah. is only like 30 minutes before you get home, Okay. to 
do everything that needs to be done. And then you come home and you just kind of make your food and you chill. You're like, hey, let's go for a walk. I'm like, are, am I, I have to go. are you not seeing like your 20 pairs of shoes are on the floor? Your socks are over the place. Your underwear, like your sink We're is a mess. We're not going to get into that again. I mean, the garbage is like, you're not, are you not, are we live in the same household? No, listen, the, 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 the girls so, want to see me. They want to spend time with me. I have two dogs now that I have to take a look after. I First mean, there's of all, a lot of that's responsibility. Not, that's there. not even like, I don't know what world you live in, but we are not living in the same household if we're like on this, we're not on the same page. Obviously, because you, you tend to have a lot no. of issues with and that. Then, and, then, and then you know what? You know what, is, you know what issue I really have? What? Like after Talk the to me, two, Carla. After the two garbage bags are in my hand, you're like, can I help you with that? No, fool, you can't help me with that. Well, I'm already halfway to the garbage. I'm, my, my focus is not on garbage. I'm looking in the future. I'm looking beyond that. All right? It's not in the gutter. So if you need help with that, what I'll throw it What future are you out. looking at? What, 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 where, where are we at? Where are we at here? Where are we at? You're looking at a future divorce? Like, where are you at? <laughs> where are we looking at? Where are we at? So no. ask me. And then this morning, you sang me this beautiful song. And I'm not even going to say it outside because uh. it's an inappropriate song. But it was amazing. I was like a little like, all right. Like, my mind got some rhythm. Like, okay. And then you're like throwing a little jab. Like, in her attitude. And I was all, what? I, I'm in here like smiling. I'm looking at you. Normally, like, this, this song, is under, that song you created for me is, is attractive. And then all of a sudden, the, you're so love. And in her attitude. And I was like, what the? This is the problem. Okay. Any other day. And that's, I think that's what messes up guys sometimes. Okay. Like one thing that could be funny in one situation can be the completely the bad, the wrong thing to say in another. And, and here I'm talking about like seconds. How could it be okay here? And then you change your attitude towards it within seconds. Now I'm the villain in this whole situation. <laughs> okay, let me bring up let me bring up a su- specific subject. If you're gonna throw me under the bus, I know. Okay, all right, I got this one. <laughs> Check this. So the other day, I come home whistling. <laughs> I'm home. You know, mama's home, and then the kids were like, "What are we gonna do?" And I'm like, "Okay, well, oh, yeah. let's let's yeah. go let's go to this." Uh, so we ended up uh, going into this fun game thing. We went to Dave and Buster's. Yeah, we went to Dave and Buster's, and then you go and take the dogs outside, mm. and I you walk come, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come, and then you come back in. You're like, "What are we gonna do?" And I'm like, "Oh, we're gonna go to the Dave and Buster's." I said, "Cool." And we're gonna take all. Like, we're gonna take the girls' friends, and you're like, "I'm not going." And then you shut down. You sat on the couch. I'm like, "Okay, cool. I will see you later then." I'm out the door and then you knew I was going to leave you and you're like okay never mind I'll go No, I thought and then not- you get in the car <laughs> and you are quiet all the way through until we get to the restaurant you're still quiet and then all of a sudden you change your attitude I'm like dang what happened it to you coming second. home to hey guys uh, daddy's home taking the dog out and all th- mama came home the same uh, Listen, the same attitude I wanted like to smiling. spend time with me and my girls I d- no, but and all of a sudden we got this caravan and yeah. I'm like, I'm like, okay, like this, it just caught me off surprise. Hey, like, no. All I wanted this morning was to little, you know, a little bit of little cuddling with you. Oh, we were really? Ourselves. Well, nothing singing, about your, your attitude right, this morning. Nothing indicated. about that song was even romantic. Like it was, I'm not even going to talk about the song. So I laughed about it. I was cool with it. Because oh, I was like, all right, I like a little nastiness in there. The way you and correlate then at the these end, two is like, like completely And out, then out with out. her attitude. So, no, it's the exact same thing. Because you're saying, hey, you're you, one way, one If one it triggered minute, you. You are the same way, too. You're one way, one second. I'm like, what the heck just happened? I thought you came home happy. See, and then it, all of a sudden, you're like, I'm not going. You're acting like this little big kid. I'm not going. I'm like, okay, cool. Then don't go. But I'm, I'm you out. You begged me to go. So. I didn't, no one begged you. No one begged you. You, We were out the door. And you're like, okay, I'll go. <laughs> Yeah, you're laughing because you knew it's true. Come on, come on. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't have anything like, to so, do with the no. house by myself. Okay. This, this whole entire... You act, call you my need, bluff. You, yeah, you, you, call you, my bluff. you need to change the subject because I will continue going. <laughs> you call so my change bluff. the subject. Because <laughs> I just, I needed to protect men out. I mean, the women out there who are like, you women have these personalities and attitudes that go up and down. No, we don't. You men are the exact same way. All right. We just, you know what we are? We're just, we're just more, I think we're just kind of like, you know what? We'll just let it go. We'll just let it go. And we have so many we'll just let it go moments that finally we're like this one i'm not going to let go got it and it's just like bah. Mm-hmm. so no I, I just had to throw that out there yeah no so you're right try, don't like try you, to you called you it. called it you called it and i was like okay I'll, not, I'll go you're, you're not special you're no you're no special when people when well, people always say this wow az's so perfect az's such oh you get that so a lot nice az i'm like what do you see on social <sighs> media because versus social media versus reality no i think they had az a, did not on. come out of this pink box and said a gift was brought, perfect man. No, I, absolutely I think not. I deliver. No, I think absolutely. as a deliverer. Oh, I'm not, I, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm, I think you you are. You okay. definitely deliver. But I'm yeah, just maybe saying. Yeah, maybe I have some, some, you know, I'm imperfections. I'm just saying, don't put yourself out there on this, like, this beautiful light. All right. Because it's, 
well, anyways, some dark sides out there. Maybe it was a lack of sleep right then. There. That's all I'm saying. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Go with that story because that's the truth. We both right. haven't been sleeping, but you're like, you have an attitude. Well, I only sleep like three hours with this new dog. Yeah. Like, and then, but, but my attitude, right? But your attitude's cool. So instead of blaming it on the situation, I, I wanted to find someone to blame specifically. Okay, let's let's clarify. Okay, that, that's then. good. That's good. Like that's I'm right. starting to like now, you a little more. All right, now because this now morning we're going I walked out, I was like, I'm out, and you were like, uh, like we, we we it wasn't a good buy. You know, and I get it. Let's let's go to let's go to, let's go to this. Let's go. I to hate this. when you do this. Though. Let's go to this. So listen to this. What you heard me calling for you when you had your AirPods. No, you, I didn't. I didn't hear you. You, you know heard when I heard me. you call when you when I saw you and I was like, oh, I didn't know you were talking. You had your AirPods on, and I'm like, and you know what? I don't like that you do that. You always assume. Well, you know what? I don't like. You said, I'm like, what? Like, I never, I didn't even see you All until right. you approached me. I was like, oh, I didn't know. I took off okay. my, but I only put those on after you said in her attitude and that song. I'm like, I don't need to listen to this. I don't need to, you want to know, I'm going to give you an attitude right now. But I, I think I you were just self-conscious about your attitude. And mind you, not only three, four hours, but I've never gotten bitten by mosquitoes. My oh, whole dude, body like, is like full of mosquitoes from being out there with those dogs. Because yeah. you forgot right. to water the mosquito plants. They died. They're dead. The plants you, you don't bought. Have, you don't have two hands? <laughs> you don't have two hands? I watered them yesterday because yeah. I, I don't want to get bit so much. But yeah, they're, they're and that, out there. And that's another thing. Let, let's talk about that one. Uh, you want to talk about ahead. this one? Yeah, let's talk let's about, talk about, about it. this one. When you come home, it's always you. Hey, you didn't water this. You didn't do this. Did you take the dogs out? I'm like... I, I, just I, simple I'm sorry, questions. Did you think I just stay home? And no, I, I'm, I'm like, I, I, I just, I was literally in the office just like you. <laughs> I just pulled up what you did. <laughs> and then you were just like, you, you, you. And I'm like, and, and now I respond differently. Now I'm like, I don't know, did you water them? And, yeah, you're you're right. th- and then you go out there and water them. Yeah, you're right. You don't take it anymore. And no, that's I good. Don't. I don't take and it anymore. Just, you know, I respect you more for that now. You know that? that that's insane. I know. I know. You know, when you were like, no, I'll go do that. It's like, Cause I am, I'm, I'm, I, I, I respect I, you more. I just, you know why? I used to baby. I'm a nurturer. I'm telling you, that's just me. That, that's just who I am. You always baby me. You always I always me. babied you. Like it's just, I'm like, I don't want you to stress. Even though I'm stressed out, I'm like, I don't want you to stress out. Though. No, you do. You you do a good job, like showing me love. I know. I, I showing try. me and giving me love. Not like I can't complain. I, I can't know. complain. And then you too. You, sh- you, you you may not. You you have your little. You know your dark sides of things like those. I have a like, like a yeah. I'm pretty yeah. dark. But the, for the most part. For the most part, you always just spoil me. Well, the girls ways. say sometimes, like uh, the way I look at things, like they're like intimidated by. It. Yeah, but but I, for the for the most part, you, you might be the beard. Yeah, it has to be the beard. The beard All is the black intimidating. Beard, yeah. yeah. But then Big we don't. Brows. But then we want. We never want you to shave it either. So I know. Because <laughs> we're in love with it. We love the beard. The beard yeah. has to stay. I, I, I'm. That's sorry. how I threaten my. That's I, how I threaten our daughters. You know that, I, right? That, I say you better. That, I, what? We're just, I'm gonna <laughs> shave my beard. No, no. Okay, Dad. All right. Fine. <laughs> I just love that beard. You but anyway, go you said here. something very interesting the other day. You're like, we were talking about this subject about oh, nurturing. Oh, so the other day, uh, oh, regarding you being yeah, in construction? We have, yeah, we have these, uh, our house is being re- remodeled. Our entire kitchen family room area is getting completely gutted. And it is hot as hell here in Phoenix right now. It's like 110 degrees, just burning up, right? And we hear them up on the, uh, on the, in the attic. Room, in the yeah, attic. The attic. And so our attic goes really deep and they're in there and you can see them walking. We heard um, some guy coughing up and, and just sweating. And you and I came home, um, and we're sitting on the couch, and we're kind of just talking about our day. And um, the guy was coming across because he needed to come and look at the electrical or whatever. So you and I were just waiting for them to leave, right? And as I'm seeing these guys on the other end, I can hear them talking. I can hear them coughing so badly because of all the, what is it called? The, just uh, the dust the and dust the, the insulation, the, the right? The, ins- the insulation, the, the heat. I mean, and they're literally in construction. Half our house is like not even usable. We, we can't like, use it. Yeah. So as I'm hearing them coughing um, really badly, I'm looking at you, and I took so much appreciation for you because I'm just like, I don't know. It just, just this, I don't even know if it's appreciation, but it's just this love. Like, and I and I realized who I am at that moment, obviously, but. At the moment, I was like, man, I've, I'm this type of person. Yeah, I think you can say this. I take off your shoes, take off your socks. I'm always massaging your feet. Mm-hmm. I'm always just taking off your shirt and just yeah. kind of um, I'm undressing you and putting on your comfortable clothes when you get home. That's just what I do. Mm-hmm. It's not because I'm just a nurturer. I'm just so I thought to myself, I just love you. So I'm like, man, if you and I looked at you and I said, if you were in construction, I would literally baby you so much coming home. I would. Oh my gosh! I would shower you. I would love you. I would remove all your clothes. I would just kiss your feet. I would. And do I'm th- the whole time I'm like thinking, wow. That's and I like- said, if I would just, because that's just who I am. And I'm like, man. And then I would walk away and be like, 
damn this is miserable like <laughs> I, I am this. miserable i am i hate this <laughs> crap i'm miserable and then i would turn around and be like i love you so much like i thank you so I, much I, rubbing these sweaty feet you're like yeah yeah you know and i would do it with a smile i would ice them and then i would walk away i'm like damn i'm miserable right I now i hate this like this is you know so, so the sacrifices all, you know we got to yeah. make for our spouses but yeah you know i looked over at you i was just like so anyway there was a moment later on when they left we had put up this uh, plastic thing that they have blocking the house. Yeah, for blocking all the dust from one side to the next. Yeah, you know, and um, when you were in, I had said it's fallen, and I said, hey, can you help me? So so I had this, so let me go back. So I had this moment on the couch with you, right? And I'm like, man, if you were in construction, I'd love you. I'd hold you. I'd hug you. All these but things, I right? And, then I, and I cuddled up to you, and I kissed you, and then we kind of went our ways, right? So then I go into the other side of the house and I see this humongous plastic thing that I found. So you can see the other side of the house. It looks horrible. I'm like, oh my gosh, we got to cover this up. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, you know, AZ, come and cover this up or whatever. And I still had a ton of things to do. You did. So I'm like, can you? And so you come all comfortable and you're like, yeah, bring me the tape. And then you're like, bring me the ladder. And I'm like, first of all, if I wanted to do it myself or even help you, I would have not even called your name. So what is the point of me calling you? I didn't know where the ladder was at. I didn't say bring it. I said, where is the ladder? Uh, no, I you, might have asked for the tape. You, so I'm like, why would I even help you? Because I didn't ask for you. I didn't ask for you to come help me. I asked you for you to do it. Yeah. So now you're asking me to help you. Okay. And I'm like, I, no. And then I'm like, no, you do it yourself. So then we can a little hissify in the in the hallway. Well, I was under the impression we we're gonna do this together. Like I'm gonna, yeah. you know, so when I, I see you, when I see when I see you looking, when I see you putting the plastic thing back, you know, and you're up on this ladder, right? I'm looking at you like, damn, he looks good. Like his butt is on point. Like this is good. And then you're like, hand me the tape. I'm like, you know what? At some point, I don't care how good you look. <laughs> Like, this is unattractive. I'm out. Like, I don't care how. But at that moment, I was just like, so that's a double whammy right there. Like, I was attracted to you on the couch, honey, about and the construction. And then I opened my mouth. <laughs> and then you open, so I walk away. How many people are those? And then I was like, I'm going to get another moment right now. So you're up on the ladder. I'm like, okay, regardless if he's telling me, go get the ladder, go get the tape, all demanding. I, and I see you walking with no shirt and some shorts. I was like, yeah. damn, these looks good. And then you look down at me. You said, hand me the tape or whatever you said, kind of rudely to me. I'm like, oh, dude, I I, you know, know what? I'm out of here. So then I'm like, at you had an attitude. You started to, like, taking the tape and giving me like four foot strips. Like I only need a, pa uh, the tape is probably, I only need six inch strips. Well, you should have done it yourself. You're like doing it with an attitude. You should have done it yourself. So then we were both in the living room after all said and done and we brought up this point and I think it's a very uh, good point. We valid said point. to each other, it's a valid point. I think we said to each other, you know, it doesn't really matter how attracted you are, like attractive <laughs> you are. Like at some point, it's like, it's, it's BS. At yeah. some point, it's like, I don't care how cute you are. At, at some point, I, 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 I'm just, I'm out. Like, yeah. this is, this is just exhausting. Yeah, because uh, the whole, it, it actually came, exhausting. it came from that dinner we had uh, before where somebody, we were having dinner and somebody comes up to us, right? And uh, they, they ask if we were like dating, right? Oh, okay. So we are, we're, we're at this restaurant and I'm, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth because you're an attractive man. And I, you know, your beard is attractive. You look a little rough around the edges. And I think, I think you're a good looking man. So um, this gentleman behind us is pretty drunk and um, he's with a bunch of people and they come and they start conversating with us and um, I'm going to go with they weren't attracted to me. Okay. <laughs> they were more attracted to the... They were more attracted to, you know, you. So they're like, so you guys dating? Are you boyfriend and girlfriend? Um, what well, we were more into the conversation after a while and they didn't catch on. We were married and yeah. then they were like, so is this your boyfriend? I'm like, no. And then I was asked... Yeah, you know, again, like, so they all thought we were boyfriend and girlfriend kind of mm -hmm. deal. I'm like, no, he's, he's not my boyfriend. He's my husband. And they're like, what? Yeah. And then we tell them we've been married 15 years. And they're like, their jaws dropped, right? Yeah, and they're like, what? Like, you guys are, you guys are. How? how? You're like, you guys are fit. You they, guys are like. They want to see if you're available, but I'm yeah, like, no, he's anyway. taken. He's taken. But, you know, the, the overall, I guess, uh, point of this is like, people get surprised when they realize We've been married so long, right? Yeah. And getting along the way we are, uh, talking to each other, really connected, right? Like, you know, really having a real conversation. But I think he said something very interesting. He said, like, you don't see this after so long and then you're still taking care of yourself. Like, it looks like you guys go to the gym every day. Yeah, because he said um, when we were talking, they were like more into like, okay, boy, I mean, you guys are married. Okay, fine. But then after they found out not only how long we were married, but how long have we known each other, like... You're, wait, you, how long have you been together? Yeah. And then we had said in there like... And that's not the first not, time we've heard it, that. Yeah. But he, it gets not, me thinking like, you know, um, I think we lose that luster after a while, right? In long-term uh, in, in long relationships, we, we lose that, uh, that luster to kind of still uh, 
you know, do the things required to, to be attractive to the to to your mate, right? I, I think that's kind of gone by the wayside through comfort or not caring enough about yourself, not not uh, prioritizing your your health. Um, that it, it's just we pretty much um, uh, like what am I trying to say here? Like uh, push each other just to be comfortable. Right. Well, I we, think it depends. I think if you're if you're married, um, you know, and I think we said this at the, one of our very, very first podcast, one of our very first podcast mm -hmm. when you and I were dating. And I believe it was the first year, second year. I, I can't recall. But you said never get comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and it really stuck with me. It stuck right. with me because I never wanted to get comfortable. Um, but if you would have never said that. I probably would have went that way. Um, just well, we, because there was that's, a point. That's the norm, you know. There was a point in our relationship we both got comfortable, right? I yeah. was, I was like a little bit skinny, fat. You wouldn't eat enough. Like health wasn't a priority. The way we look wasn't a priority. We're like, okay, we're married, right? Um, but I think that's still important. I mean, love at first sight means sight. Love at first sight. Yeah, but right. yeah, I mean, everything else is is a uh, is a plus, and and right. sometimes becomes the, the best quality, right? Uh, but there's, there's still a certain responsibility that we have to take about taking care of ourselves first and foremost. And I remember one time I told you, you're like, I'm like, dude, I, I love the way you, uh, you take care of yourself. And sh you said very specifically you said, I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> I'm not doing it for you. And that's the type of response that we have to take. Right. It's just like, I'm doing this for me. I'm looking right. good for me. I'm not trying to go outside of my, my, uh, you know, uh, my, my marriage by any means. It's like, but I still want to feel good and powerful. Well, and I, and I think, the, I think, um, and the discussion that we've had previously, it was like we both went to the roller coaster of like making sure we were well put, you know, for each other, for, for each other. Right. And then we lost each other. We lost ourselves. Right. And then going back into the relationship more in the sense of like, you know what? We're taking care of ourselves. Yeah. Like it's not even about you anymore. Yes. Like it just doesn't make me feel good. If you don't take care of you, that doesn't mean I'm not going to take care of me. So you, we're kind of both it, on our own. Um, we're not here to push or encourage each other. It's like you don't want to do it. Great. Um, we can feed off each other. We can give that energy to one another. But no longer is it going to be, are you going to be all in? Because I'm not going to be all in. It's like, no, I'm just going to go all in and take care of me. And yeah. it's not about you anymore. Yeah. Um, as selfish may it seem or, or may seem I rude or a, anything, no. it's just more of like. But I think we all influence each other. So if somebody just starts being more uh, lackadaisical but it, but about everything. But sometimes it's never like that, though, AZ. Sometimes. Um, Very rarely do you see the, the couples that don't mirror each other. Right. Very rarely. Right. So it, that's the thing. They're, they're, they're mirroring each other, and sometimes it's not for the right habits or the right uh, behaviors. They're mirroring all the la la laxodaisical items, the stuff that doesn't require much work, the, the you know, just going through the motions type right. of thing. And, and being, uh, on the other hand, you know, watching over your health and, and continually grow, continue to expand yourself, to continue to look for something greater does take a lot of work. But I think... We use each other as crutches sometimes, right? One spouse uses uh, the other spouse for crutches. Oh, the, he's eating this and I'm going to eat that. If he doesn't go to the gym, there's no need for me to go to the gym. Well, it's kind of like this. I remember for a while I used to, um, so I had this routine. I still do to this day. For many years I've had this routine. I put my vitamins out in the morning. I'm, I'm very organized um, and I have a routine. For years I've had it. And I've incorporated you into that routine because you're not going to do it yourself. So I've incorporated into the routine. It's like, okay, these are your vitamins. These are mine. Yeah. This, is, this is there. So every, is everything's really well organized, right? You, you are very organized. In, in the mornings, and this is our routine kind of deal. Um, after a while, I was just like, well, you're not really doing anything I'm leaving out for you. So this is getting kind of frustrating. So you're on your own. So I started doing my thing. And then after a while, you're like, hey, what about my vitamins? You're not setting anything out. I'm like, yeah. I stopped doing it because you really you don't care. Yeah. You weren't taking them. I'm not going to waste my time mm -hmm. putting them out. So you caught on to that as well because I wasn't going to baby you in the sense of following you with your vitamins. I mean, right. I'm, you know, you're a grown ass man. So after a while, you're like, I have to take care of me. Yeah. I mean, and she's not going to, to constantly be chasing me. Um, and that's what it is. But, but I love the fact that you said I'm doing this for me and not for you. And I think we have to do everything for ourselves because uh, we influence each other. Right. Period. Right. And, and you know, and, and that's why it, when I was in the ladder, you're like, it, at some point, it doesn't matter what you look like. It, right. It's got to go beyond that. It's got to be growth in all aspects. And that's why I brought up that whole um, routine setup because I'm like, if I continue doing what I'm doing, eventually he's going to catch on. Mm -hmm. Eventually he's going to do his thing. And that's exactly how it is. We, we've, we, 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 give that each, we give that energy to each other like, okay, we're, we're you know, we're great working together in that sense of like yeah. following each other's pattern, I guess, the healthy pattern. Yeah. Um, but eventually, yeah, yeah, I mean, you have to do things for yourself. I yeah, and, and that's the thing. There, there's keys to attraction and everything, right? There's an, uh, the emotional side, the, the mental side of it, right? And, but there's still a physical side that I think we all have to be aware of. Um, and for us to get that comment from that gentleman, I mean, it, 
it, it's attractive. It's attractive, right. uh, you know, and, I'm, and I look at you, I'm like, dude, you, you've done a phenomenal job of making yourself a priority because when you make yourself a priority, it influences everyone and vice versa. I do the same thing and we're influencing the next generation. For those of you that have kids, we're influencing on the behaviors that we're showing them right now. So whatever you have that you're doing right now, it, it just, it's always works this way where the next generation magnifies. So if there's right. a bunch of bad habits, bad behaviors, bad eating regimens, you know, uh, dysfunctional marriages, the next generation is only going to tolerate more right. and, and they're going to do more of that stuff. And it's our jobs to like, just change the cycle. The way we even talk to each other, right. the way we talk to each other, the way we communicate. Uh, I, even think when even, we communica- I think even the simplicity of the frustration that we have in a relationship, if you're not receiving something so small on the other end, we get so frustrated yeah. and we blow it up. Um, and I want to give a really uh, good example. Okay. And, and as I'm staring at you, I'm just, and we're talking about not having, um, we started this habit of going out a couple of times a week yes. and having a good time, um, you know, dinner, or just going out somewhere, just you and yeah. I. Um, first and foremost, uh, I, I, and I think you're going to agree with this one. You didn't, you weren't the starter of that. You, I've met you that way. I've never met you. And I've said it this way. Mm. I've never met you to be the, the romantic, romantic. I'm not and the all romantic. this. You're not. And it used to frustrate me because it's like, well, you knew me, you met me this way. You don't, you knew I wasn't this person. And I'm like, why am I trying to force something that you're not? Because um, it's being influenced by the outside. Yeah, it's being influenced by social media. It's being right. influenced by movies. It's being influenced by all right. these so things. Right, so I'm like, man, my relationship is like, ugh. Like, yeah, I, there's no romance. There's no romance. So, But yet I do my way differently, right? Like, And I think I got to understand the love languages about what you love. Because the way I, I, I shower but, you with things or, or like give you small surprises is, is right. the way I like right. to be given. And you. I never want to force. And I thought about this. Um, I'm like, why am I forcing something? I'm not very organized when it comes to not, scheduling. Yeah, or any of that. Yeah. Like, uh, why am I forcing something that's not there? If I want it so bad, why not just go get it? Yeah. So I'm like, hey. Every couple of times a week, I need you. We're gonna Uber it, and we're gonna go somewhere. Every time and you're like, okay. So if I don't plan anything, nothing is planned. Right. There's nothing wrong with but that. But we've had such a great time. Right. Right. And, but and my that's whole, not my in my element. Point, yeah. My like, whole point is, it used to overwhelm me with frustration. Like, why aren't you because doing of the anything? expectations? Right. The expectations. Right. So now it's just like, hey, if I want it, I'm gonna do it, and we're gonna go. You know, we're gonna have fun. Yeah. So I, and I had to change my perspective and, and thinking that way did. because, yeah, you get influenced by the outside of yeah. like maybe it should be this way. It's like why should it be? Why can I? take you out on dates mm. um why can i organize everything and no and, and that's know? the thing that that just doesn't fall within my strengths about organizing right. planning and all this other stuff i'm like like off the cuff i'm i i, I thrive right. off the cuff and this is and uh, this is me this is how i'm not one by the way and everyone I, and you know this i'm not one to shop i do not like shoes and person i'm not the one out there you're the one that brings me these little gifts mm-hmm. absolutely love that about you because you yeah. know i want to do that for myself right so those are the little things that i think um i i guess i forgot to see he's not romantic. This, but yes I'm that. but he's yeah exactly and, and you know what that's 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 helped so much because you were walking around like with this expectation why is he not doing this this and this so now you're putting an expectation i i'm not aware of when if you just deliver that there you know i'm going to come up on this other area and, right. and we've been having such a great time. You've been organizing. And from time to time, I'll, I'll do like the, like I'll, I'll really plan out the bigger things. But I still need your help some out yeah. sometimes to plan this, that, or the other. Uh, because that is not my strong suit. Yep. But uh, yeah. when I'm in those situations, I, I'm all in. Yeah. Like I'm connected. I'm right. there. And that's really helped. Right. But we, we covered a lot of subjects today, Carla. I know you got an appointment coming up right now. So we're going to cut the cut this a little short. But, you know, it, the, I guess the, the influence, the overall, um, I guess, uh, summary of what we just talked about is you know it's it's the influence knowing when when and why certain things are occurring and sometimes it doesn't have to do with right. what each other's doing but outside influences we got a brand new dog our house is under co- construction uh so the you know the patience factor is kind of dwindled out but uh, a lot of great conversations here today it was fun it was it I, was. I like you a little more right now what do we have know. a date we have a date oh we have no, a really good we date. have a really good weekend yes we have a good weekend we have planned. a good weekend plan that's right that's right. Guys, like, invest in your marriage. Like, it's it's fun being in a marriage. I mean, uh, I think there's so much negativity sometimes going around about how much you have to sacrifice in a marriage. I mean, if you work on you and you do the things that make you feel powerful and good, that's all you're going to bring into the relationship. That's everything you're going to bring into the and that's relationship. That's why I brought up that... Um that's why I brought up the whole going out. It's like if you, whatever you want in a relationship, don't wait for the other person. Yeah. Just go get it. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. And the other person will be like, oh, that's awesome. Thank that's you awesome. for planning that. Yeah. yeah. Did, we didn't even cross and my mind. And some guys are not romantic. Yeah. I mean, it's not like the movies. I, 
like my I, I'm wired differently. Yeah. Like I'm a hunter, yeah. not not a you know that type of things. But uh, when I'm in this situation, I, I thrive there too. Yeah. And some wi- and some women, I want to bring this up because I, I know this. I'm not one to when you do things for me. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Mm. I'm not that person. No. Um, but you know, I'm not. I guess. But I you d- appreciate I, the little things, right? And it's this is I don't always show appreciation in like in the movies where I run and hug you, and I'm like, thank you uh. so much. I'm just not that person. You bring me roses and you do things. I'm like, oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. But I show my appreciation in, in other areas. Other areas. I, like, and yeah. I guess that's what we have to do. Yeah. And the men, uh, are, um, the men always like she doesn't appreciate me. I was like, she does. Look she at does. everything else. She's everything doing. else. Just, not just because a, you brought her flowers. Right. The flowers don't mean anything. Like right. what else? And that's sometimes when I'm yeah. mad at you, like. Like, like this morning, right? We're not getting along, but I'm going for my vitamins. I'm like, fuck. She, she like set all my vitamins out <laughs> and I'm here pissed off uh, at her, you know? And those are the things. It's not always We have like, to yeah. look bigger than yes. this. Uh, then the at situation. that moment of like, she didn't appreciate it. I'm like, it's not that, no, that's not the, that the man or the woman don't appreciate it. Yeah. At that, they're just not right. Well, at that uh, moment, you're probably not the right moment or the yeah, time. But how many times have we heard that? Right. Well, you know, I, I did this for you and you didn't appreciate anything about it. It's like, what about okay, everything else? Everything like, else. Yeah, like, don't focus done, yeah. on that little thing right. just because you got a wild hair right. to do something nice. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, you want like this romantic right. music, slow motion to come around and her, yeah. you know, take off her dress and yeah. you know have some fun. That's not gonna happen. Yep. It's not gonna happen. Yep. Anyway, I love today's top. This uh, this is great. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I like you. I, I like you too. Well, we're gonna have a hell of a weekend. Yeah. That's right. I'm gonna grab your hand right now. Yeah. That's right. Sweet cheeks. Remember, I used to hug you because I was so angry with you for so many years, and I used to just pat you on the back when you would hug me. Yeah, like a like a like a friend. Like a friend. Yeah, and you would, yeah. A pat. It wasn't an embrace. It was a pat. You would come home, and you're like, "Hey, you I'm just, home," and you would hug me, and I'm just like, "What the?" F-? Yeah. And I would just pat you. Yeah. And you're like, "Why don't you hug me?" I'm like, "I don't want to hug you. I don't yeah. know how to hug. I'm just not a hugger." No. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't delivering. I didn't expect you. Like uh, now, you know how to hug. Yeah. You know how to do a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm delivering. That's right. That's All right, guys. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Do The Work Podcast. I'm going to remind you, like, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to our podcast. We record here every Thursday live. So this is going to go to our podcast. And any p- podcast provider you decide to go on, we're there. And you can also go to do thework.com. We have all the show notes. We have it all broken down for you. If you want to go back and re-listen and watch it with your, with your spouse, I'm going to highly encourage you. Uh, conversations like this, I think, will give you the perspective to really, like, double down on your marriage. Double down on your on yourself and just to, to you know bring life to make it I guess fulfillment, you know, fulfilled. Add and, some and, fire and to passion it. and fire, right? <laughs> so thank you again for joining us. Until next time.